serious exposition. Yes, we did. Hit in style. Well, of course not. Why would the king be in his castle? That's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Now, apparently those reports weren't very intelligent until we attacked his capital. Well, that's disappointing. Well, that's also disappointing. There's a lot of disappointing stuff here. I'm not liking this exposition. It's kind of ticking me off. Stop being so expediting of soariness here. Friggin' Nasir. Teach that guy a lesson. Gonna teach him a lesson forever in how Ike sticks swords into people. But first things first. Chapter 22, Solo. An interesting map, to say the least. But I say that about almost every map, so, you know, to be fair. To be fair, it, that descriptor does get used a fair amount. Sweet. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good question. General Zelgius. Ooh, boy. Let's see who this guy is. Wow, he's quite the handsome feller. An Earl, alright. <laughs> I like that. Just a little bit of a shot at, at, at Senates all over the world there. Duke Persis. Sephirin, yes. The Prime Minister. Well, that's good. Well, that, that, that's good to have someone to push this stuff through. Mm. Oh my. Yay! We finally have a, the ally of the most powerful nation on the, on the continent. I like how Ike is subtly in charge of these guys, too. Like, he's not a professional soldier. He really isn't. Very. Alright, things are looking up, so you know stuff's gonna start going bad again. It's like a dream. I'm being mean to her for no reason. Oh, no. Titania, why don't you just say what you really think? Oh no, Sora's on the rag again. <laughs> Who does it now? Oh, of course. Oh, I'm pretty sure they'll take the credit. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Man, I think Sora just wants his credit. She wouldn't, but uh, everyone else would be. Yes, we must. Have you forgotten this here? Exactly. Exactly. Soren's got a point. You people suck. Nice. <laughs> Come on, Ike. Oh, I could have given the hat trick of ellipses. But no, we had to say something. We meet in one hour. Because we're all here now, but let's meet in an hour. Friggin' Ike. But first things first, we find out that Boyd is an MVP. Yeah! Damn right he is. I got a lot of money. People have been asking for a kick-ass sword uh, for another character. So I'm going to make a sword for Maya uh, when I do my outfitting here. Alright, so let's award us some experience here. Let's see who needs some experience. Anyone? Anyone? Eh, meh, meh. I'm kind of getting to that point where I don't really want to dole out experience so much, but uh, I'll give a little bit to, to Gatry, because he's a fun guy. He's a fun dude. He doesn't afraid of anything. He is going to get a lot of experience this map, doing just getting pounded on, honestly, so he'll be fine. You don't need help at all, ever. You could use some, though. I should really try to get her involved in the fun. I mean, she could do a lot of cool stuff, as they say. And, uh... 
them are down in areas where I don't really use these people. Alright. I'll do more of that in the future. Anyway. No supports again. Jeez. It's a, it's a hard knock life here. Let's talk to the youth. Jorge! Uh, I don't know. Is this about that stupid game again? Because <laughs> last time he told us stuff that was good for helping us. Yeah, sorry, his brother did. <laughs> he isn't like me, he's smart. Oh, no. <laughs> well, except for your haggling. Oh, snap. You got told, son. You got told! Uh, shove them out of the way. That way you don't have to fight them. I wonder if that's going to come into play on this map, just like it did last time we tutored one of these fool bags with a suggestion. And let's talk to Soth and see what he's got to say. Hmm. Aww. Hmm. Dane is the homeland. Interesting. Well, that would make sense. You are a thief. I went back to my old stomping grounds. I like I like Soth. He he's a man after my own heart for uh, using expressions like old stomping grounds. Indeed. Probably. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, okay. That's good, because I spared your life. I could have thrown you in the ocean, just so you know. Well, that's fair. That's fair. And then Ike, as usual, just shakes it off. Like, doesn't really matter. Uh, yawn. Anyway, pretty short little lead-in for this one, so let's leave the base. Indeed. Oh no. <laughs> I like how he's putting him uh, in charge. Well, okay, fair enough. You know, you wouldn't want to be safe or something, or learn a new skill, Ike. You know, for someone from that land where they're not flexible, you're pretty flexible. And that is very true. As we've seen by my scrambling in the past, you need to be flexible when something does not go the way you planned it. Yes, the Palmini Temple. He mentioned something about it. Indeed. He probably did. Hmm. Because he's a jerk, Mist. That's why. Thinking about your problems isn't going to solve your problems. So forget about your problems and let's go in here. Check out check out Paul Schaefer. He grew himself a pretty nice head of hair. Crud. That's just like... Oh, he, he should have said uh, vapors at the end of it. Then I could have said poo gas. And then the reference would have made sense. But I can't. So I won't. <laughs> yeah, bat dung. Bat dung. Na 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 bat. Anyway, dying for sissies. <laughs> That's good news. Stealing a baby from a cradle. I like Schaefer. He is a dude. Yep. Or else. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh man. That poor guy. Nice looking hall. It's got some nice treasures in here for being a temple too. Well, nice boxes anyway. I got all those what's in them. Uh -huh. 
It's a trap! Thank you, General Akbar. Damn, it's got a few warriors. <laughs> That's true. And they just magically all appeared. <laughs> oh, check it out. Operation Human Shield. Or Operation Get Behind the Darkies, depending whether you've seen the South Park movie or not. <laughs> now, if only we had a way to move them out of the way so we don't have to kill them. Aww. So... Yes, you want to save all of them, really, Ike. So he's not coming. You can sit this one out. Because really, the less ranged people you bring, the better. Boyd, you can sit. Race is coming. Mist is coming. Brom, you can come along. The Nefiner, you're very high level. So is Mia. I forgot to give her a sword, by the way. I guess I'll have to do that next time. Oh, well. I'll bring Ilyana, because I do like having a few ranged people. I need Soth for his Thiever 8 and ability. I'm going to bring you. I'll bring the Gadsters. I'll bring... Uh, Astra, just because her range is useful. Even though it's inside, I'm going to bring Jill. And, oh, what the hell, Mordecai hasn't rolled in a long time. Let's bring Mordecai out with us. It's an interesting combo of people. It's not necessarily one I would normally roll, but uh, it's going to be a slow-moving group for the most part. Alright. You're going to go over Da. You're going to go over Da. Basically, I can send these guys that way, and I can send these guys that way. Yeah, this works for me. Now, I'm going to show you most of the priests do not have any equipment. And only priests are the one that count, but here's what you got to worry about. People who have light or uh, shine books. That's the leader right there. See, these guys don't matter. So they're soldiers. There's a priest with a light book. And silent staff, okay, you don't want to kill those guys. If worst, you're just going to want to bait them into silencing some of your people. There's a third one with a book. And I think that's only three. And then there's guys like that who we can theoretically steal stuff from if we want to. Get ourselves like, yeah, there's a physics staff, for instance. Like that guy, if we get soft close enough to steal, that'd be great. This guy's got a bolting book, and he's kind of in the middle of the map. So we can find a way to kill him to stop... That to kill him to stop him from doing bad stuff to people that'd be excellent here's the problem Tom Tominami has a light book who are the other ones with books these guys yeah those are the three with books so this is where we're gonna use Oscar and the corrosion ability to wear out their books and we'll just keep healing Oscar from afar wearing out the books and turning them into useless useless people basically this is the plan I'm coming up with I'm sure I'm gonna end up changing it at some point I don't know if I really need racing for this map, truth be told. I mean, it's such a small map. I don't really need to be able to move around that fast. But, you know what? I think I'll bring him anyway, because getting him a level up or two, wasting down those books would be useful. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do it. And, of course, whenever Oscar's getting pounded on by one of these priests, or by two priests, you want to keep everyone else out of the priest's range. And that's going to be the real challenge. Anyway, let's get started here. I'm feeling relatively confident this can work. So let's see. So over here we got a dude and another dude and another dude. Those are the two we gotta worry about, basically. So we gotta find a way to do bad stuff to people. Alright, can we do bad stuff to people? Can we? I think we can. Damn, he can do bad stuff to that guy. That's for friggin' sure. Alright, how about you uh, use a little bit of El Thunder out? Oh, he can actually hit you. Well, you know what? I don't care. I need that guy dead because he's got some power in him. And if we get rid of him, we'll be better off. That is for friggin' sure. So we'll worry about the potential ramifications of this later. Oh, good. There is no p potential, potential ramifications to worry about. Damn. She kicked his ass. Or electrified his ass. Does that make her the rock? Maybe. Maybe. So we got a Steel Axe dude there. 
you don't have any throwing weapons. And you don't have any throwing weapons. So what I could do... I could do a few things here, but... We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Just hold on. Let me think. There's a way to do this. I know there is. Hmm. Hmm. I know I've got enough strength going this way. The problem is just getting people clear to actually do the killer aim. That's a thief. So he's not a huge concern, per se. You have your bow, eh? All right. You guys don't have any light books, right? No light books? No light books? No light books. See, it's just in the middle where you got to worry about that. So we can be a little more aggressive with the ranged attacking in this area here. All right. How about you, uh, Iron Bowman in the face? Oh, you could get critical by this guy. Very unlikely. So, I mean, what are the chances really it's going to happen? I guess the chances really are only, like... 0.33%. And he'd have to make connection in the first place. Alright, good work, Oscar. Good work. And for those of you that want to see that triangle attack, the pyramid attack, whatever you want to call it, with the, with the three brothers, I swear to God I'm going to do it. It's on my list to get done. I just haven't done it yet because I never think of such things. Did you kill him, Astrid? Oh, you can murder this guy. You're going to murder this guy by shooting him. And then you're going to back off and just chill out with our good friend uh, Oscar over here to you with your bows equipped, feeling all fancy pants. Well, keep clean this side. This side's easy. I know the plan for this side. Even though I started on the other side, maybe I should finish what I was doing, but whatever. What the freaking ever, as I say. Alright, strength. She's, she's starting to come along a little bit. She's probably a little weak, but I just love the fact that she's a natural bow knight. I don't know why that's such a big deal. We got a steel sword, sword master, and... Okay. Well, I'm not real worried about that. So, we're going to go over here, and we are going to shove this guy out of the way. Mordecai, if you would be so kind as to... You can't even kill this guy, Mor Mordecai? What the friggin' hell? Mordecai, what the friggin' hell? Oh, Mordecai, you frigging nutsack. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. But Mordecai, you freaking nutsack, man. Alright, fine. Will that get him... Will that help him get there? If I do that, that should get him there, right? Alright, good enough. Just, just shove him, though. Don't smite him. I don't want you to make him feel bad. Alright, Ike. Since he's dumb, I need you to not be dumb on my behalf. Can you handle that for me? Go to town. Go nuts. Use up your longsword. Good work. <laughs> Bad work. And good work. And one of my, um... One of my knights there with the bows... Or the paladins, rather, with the with, equipped with a bow is going to get attacked by that sword master. But not a big deal. We can live with that. Good. All stats you definitely needed. Alright, alright. So. If we march him over here, we could shove a priest out of the way. What good does that do us? Yeah, you can chat for him get him moving again. I think with his movement... I, of course, I should have put him above racing if I was thinking, but I wasn't. If I was, I could have done some serious business. All right, you can park your butt there. You're going to fly over here, and if you're not fast enough to double hit this guy, that's fine. I'm okay with that, because I can finish him off with the thief with no damage done. And those armor slayer swords do look so awesome. He still gets no experience. I mean, yeah, okay, if he kills him, he'll get a little, but still. Now, you got to be very careful when you're picking your uh, weapon here to use, because if you actually attack one of them, you're going to kill them. They are, like, generic, basic uh, baddies, if ever I saw them. Good enough? Good enough. All right, a level for Soren, too. Excellent, or Soren. Soth, pardon me. Nice. Again, for him, that's like at worst an average level. For what he's put up with. But, uh... You've got a short spear and you've got a steel lance. I see. Ah, uh, freaking see. So if I go here and shove this priest... 
that means you can't get out of here and you'll probably come after him. That's fine. And you'll rescue that one. And I'm gonna go right. You know what? Jill, do I have faith in you to, to be able to live through this? I do. Jill can handle her business. That just leaves Miss Linkton. Who can only go so far here, can only do so much. And she has her rescue staff, so I gave her rescue staff as well, in case I need to pull somebody out of range of uh, of bad stuff ahead. Bad stuff ahoy, if you will. The only good news is that uh, priests don't move out of the way for the... Uh, not you missed. They don't move out of the way for the bad guys. So, you don't got to worry about them coming after you so much. Which is hilarious. It's like, really, guys? Oh, really? You got a steel axe, do you? Do you, boy? Alrighty, Rue. What do I want to do with this mess? Can you kill that guy? Not quite. Yeah, how about you? Could you kill that guy if I put you to work? With your stiletto, perhaps? Probably could kill him. Not necessarily going to kill him. But, uh, you know what? Take a crack at him. Take a crack at him. I like your chances. I like your chances. Ah, well, that's a shit. But that's okay. We're fine with that. Because we still got good old racing to chant him back into healthy land and let him attack again and finish the job. We've really got a lot more strength over on, uh, on Billy Jean's side over there, on Ike's side, but I never really bothered to, uh, switch it up. Eh, let's keep using knives. I don't want to buy a stiletto. I mean, come on. That's no fun. I suppose I... You know, there's something I could do. I guess I could um, forge up a knife for him and make him a little stronger that way. Hmm. Interesting thoughts. Interesting thoughts abound. Alright. You can go here and you can drop her, like, right there. And you can go hang out, like, right here. You're going to go up here and you're going to shove this... Actually, you know what? You can smite his ass. Smite it. Yeah! Smited. You guys, you have a Venonax. Alright, so let's just stay at a range of Mr. Venonax for the moment. Alright, that side is now secure. We just gotta remember not to put anyone in the range of Mr. Book User. Which isn't gonna be a huge deal, as you can tell. Alrighty, Roo, so what do we got here? We've got a Venon Bowman. Any of these guys have ranged attacks, right? No. Brom, I want you to shove this guy out of the way. Do not attack him. Shove him. Man, Brom weighs double what that guy weighs. That's an impressive amount of weight. Alright, Iron Bow. Not enough. Boo. How about you? Do you have enough to take this guy out? Not with a steel bow. Probably with a killer bow. Ah, there's what we're looking for. Alright, take him down, Astrid. I mean, you're probably going to get whacked after this, but it is what it is. And if she gets poisoned, she gets poisoned. Boo friggin' who. Astrid earning her paycheck at the moment. I like it. I like it a lot. And the fact that she levels up almost all the time is also pretty awesome. I can even pull her back behind Braum for safety. That's beautiful. How about you? Can you uh, iron bow this guy in the face? You can! And if you don't kill him, well, it's a freebie for Ike. Right, by the way, Ike's another good one to give the Night Ring to. It's nice to be able to run him in, whack somebody, and then just keep him moving after he kills them. Because, come on, let's face it, he pretty much kills anybody and everybody that comes near him. I guess I could have put him over there if we get him one closer, but whatever. By all means cut up this ding-dong nicely. Damn. Dude has a flair for the killmatic. See what I did there? Instead of dramatic, I said killmatic. It's pretty smart of me. It's pretty, pretty sharp and smart and sharply smart. And boom goes the dynamite and um, other words of encouragement. Well, they don't, they're not in any danger at all, so let's send her that way. 
I was just waiting for like nine million reinforcements to come pouring through that door and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, that's all you have to outspeed me? That's it? Really? Damn, dude, you. S ah, reinforcements. And you're gonna give somebody some hit points? I see, Soth is like that. Alright, so what do we got? We got a feral one, it's a tiger. And we got a mercenary. What's your ruin six? One, two, three, four, five, six. You can attack the tiger. Rur, rur, rur. If I let her get the kill. Rur, 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 rur. And I'm not sure why I'm talking like that. Rur, 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 rur. But I am. Alright, I'll stop that. I swear to God. Eventually. You now that she's done that, that clears a lot of space, and I can just send a couple of people rampaging north. And I'm going to send her back along the bottom, and uh, I'll get her over the other side where she can help. She has got so much skill, it is frightening. I need to find an ability for her. Actually, I think her occult ability is soul, which is not a bad one. Well, oh, she got a chest key, actually. Alright, I'll just sit her right there. She can sit back and wait. What can you do to this funky junk? You can barely damage him. Gotcha. What's it look like if you go funky junk on this junk of the funk? You're going to take 10 damage and you'll do 16. Yeah, there's a chance of critically with the Slim Lance. Can you get all the way in there and attack? You can. What does that mean for you and the price of tea in China? You can't do a ton of damage, but you'll take some. wait a minute, and you can get up there and wait a minute, and then you can get up here and you can wait a minute, and don't you dare attack anybody, that would just be needlessly mean, man, what, the, why the hell would you do that? You guys really aren't going to move, are you? You guys are not going to move. Well, how about we send her in to do a little Killer Lance work? Yeah, Killer Lance work, gonna destroy somebody with a spinning spear! Damn! That had to hurt, Sonny Bucko. Sonny Jim. Sonny Boy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm out of Sonny related ones. Oh, Sonny Black. Sonny Red. I would just watch Donnie Brasco. Don't mind me. Um, I actually don't know what else I can really do to that. You kill that guy with your uh, stiletto. See, you're still not quite strong enough. Boom. How about you? You murder this guy? I gotta be careful. I think there's someone with a Lagoose weapon up here, isn't there? Not really, no. Is there? Well, you know what? Screw ya, brew ya. That's what I say to that. You guys don't have throwing weapons, right? Steel Lance and a Venom Axe. Okay, so all I really gotta do is murder a plenty with her. I mean, she gets hit, she gets hit. It's not a huge deal. She can handle her biz, as they say. In the biz. And this guy will miss. And then she's going to whack him again. And she's going to be enjoying life even more. And more importantly. Here's the important part. It's going to leave it a little more open. So I can have other people do, do a little bit of uh, Yaman's work here. Oh, you get so close to attacking that guy. Now, you guys can attack over a wall, right? No, they can't attack over walls. That is a useful thing to have. So you can go over here and you can actually steal a, a chest already. Yeah, let's steal a chest. Silver bow. Ooh, fancy pants. Could I kill that guy? No. Yeah, you really are too slow for your own good, Mordecai. You know that? However, I suppose I could dance, or dance. I could chant her back into a realm of being happy with herself. See, maybe I get her up there to uh, attack one of these funkies. That would be nice. And you can just wait right there, I suppose. You can attack one of these funkies. Nice. Yeah, that works for me. Do it. Hit him. Hit him where it hurts. 
in the face. Or the upper chest, I'm good with that too. Alright, good. And now, we'll send him in to do a little slaughter in the water here. Not sure why slaughter in the water is where I'm going with this, but uh, it is what it is. Take that. Let's see if Mordecai can get some actual experience for killing somebody. Ah, that's a little better. It's a little better. Yeah, works for me. So what do we got left? We got Miss Lington, who can use rescue on who? Well, that would be silly. Why would she do that? And here comes the bolting man. He is so revolting. Ow, dude, that's Gatry. What did he ever do to you? But he gets a level up out of it. I mean, he got electrocuted, but he got a level. Resistance, buddy. You need it. All right, strength, skill. These are things I can live with. Now, hopefully, the Venom Axe, Venom weapons don't have a, like any real strength to them, and his armor should be more than enough to keep him safe. The problem is that he's going to get whacked like that. I was hoping that he maybe couldn't reach all the way around on him there, but of course he can! <laughs> nice. Nice for Braum. And the guy, the guy's gonna come running in here and attack him in a way that I would call foolhardy, but perhaps not that foolhardy. We'd have to wait and see. <laughs> Looks pretty foolhardy from my angle. Alright, Brom, you're doing good work as a walking tank that's just working hard. 